Hi, it's Mr. Colley, and in this video we're going to be looking at variables, which are the parts of Scratch that you will use for things like lives or score. Um, we're not going to be looking at how to actually deduct lives, get rid of lives when you hit a baddie, or how to add to your score, but we are going to be looking at how to make a variable and set it to what you want at the start of a game. So, to make a variable, first of all, click the variables tab here, it's the dark orange one, and choose make a variable. Um, the first one I'm going to make is going to be lives, like that, click OK, and you'll see that pops up there, lives. I'm going to make another one, and I'm going to call it score. Now, if you're doing this with a sprite selected, you might get an option down here that says, do this for, make a variable for all sprites or for this sprite only. You should choose for all sprites at this stage. Click OK. So there we go. Now, I can hide those variables or show them by taking the tick in and out of the box, like so. I can also drag them to where I want them to be on the screen. Um, but at the start of the game, traditionally, start of a video game, you've normally got some lives and no score. So we need to write scripts to make sure that happens when the game starts. So what we can do here is on the stage, when you're dealing with variables, always put your scripts on the stage. Again, my game's going to start when the green flag is clicked. So there we go. Back to variables. Set lives to, let's say we're going to have three. And set, and you'll see it still says lives, but I can change that by dropping it down. Set score to zero. So even if the score goes up, like that, when I click the green flag, that will go back to zero. And that will change to three like so. Um, you'll notice I've just clicked that. If I keep double clicking my variables, it'll show, it'll change the way it displays, like so. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can change the number of lives, you can change the number of score by tweaking your code here, but every time you play the game, and let's say you've got a score of 74 and 29 lives at the end, if you didn't have that, when you started the game again, those would stay the same. When you click the green flag with this script in, it resets to what you want it to be. So off you go and have a go.